Good afternoon, Dean Davis and Storm Surge LLC live with blogs.com. We're going to be going over the potential of first off severe weather and flooding over the next couple of days here in the eastern United States. We have a ton of moisture. Right now, my current reading for a dew point is 69 degrees with a temperature of 86. Lots of moisture. The dew points are high. It's going to squeeze out a lot of rain or graphic lift. We're going to go over all that good stuff. Right now, this is on uh, about 2.18 p.m. And we're looking at tornado watches in Ohio and Kentucky. It's three thunderstorm watch here in Tennessee and parts of Alabama and Mississippi. This will expand um, tomorrow, I guarantee you that, um, and over the next few hours, potentially. As noticed by Storm Prediction Center, we have a C-text area over Virginia and North Carolina, and the reasoning is, you can see the whole area is under 5 percentile for severe weather tomorrow. That probably will increase in Carolinas and Virginia, and I'll show you why in one minute. Current conditions, we have the backdoor cold front that's moved through D.C., it's moved through uh, Delaware Valley. That's giving you the cooler and drier air, but that's going to retreat and retrograde back to the north and east. When that happens, you're going to get the warm and more unstable humid air. We have a low pressure system located right now over the western areas of Kentucky. Thus, the tornado watch in that warm sector near the low pressure um, and a lot of moisture from the south. What goes on as we move along is that front retrogrades and diminishes, becomes a little bit of a boundary and helps induce the thunderstorms and sh showers and heavy rainfall as that front moves to the west. One other thing will happen as we move into tomorrow afternoon, we're going to get a secondary low pressure system develop in North Carolina. What that's going to do is add more road, more shear, we're going to have good shearing values and I'll show you that going on and that shear will lead to isolated tornadoes. Um, Damaging winds, isolate tornadoes, and hail are all going to be possible in Virginia and North Carolina tomorrow. And it's possible severe weather all along the front. So, very isolated in some matters, but more the, what the Storm Ditch Center is talking about upgrade to a slight risk in Virginia and North Carolina. And all, the thing that's limiting that is the fact that there is a, um, what do you call that? The instability ain't going to be as high. The more sunshine, the more heat we get, the more instability. So, that being said, if you see some sunshine tomorrow, you're going to be in greater risk of thunderstorms that could become severe. But the shear itself could throw out thunderstorms with rotation, so we have to watch that closely. By the weekend, we'll be looking at this cold front moving out and temperatures with beautiful temperatures in the 70s. Here's our other concern. A lot of training thunderstorms, a lot of rain. Look at that. Four-inch rate right through Roanoke, straight up through Charlottesville, IE one corridor. Lots of rain. Three inches plus along that Blue Ridge Mountain chain, especially along and east of the Blue Ridge Mountains. So those locations also here in Vermont, you see there's another area as the storm moves closer that could squeeze out a ton of rain. So there's some areas we have to watch. That's why there's flood watches. I'll show you that now. Flood watches run the gamut from about Allegheny County, uh, which is in um, Virginia, back down through the Carolina Mountains. That's where the most rain is going to occur. We move closer in, two to three inches average here, Roanoke, Floyd County, uh, one to three inches in locally higher amounts, Bedford County, this uh, I think is going to change anything along the Blue Ridge Mountain chain is going to be in trouble. And that's very clear here, uh, over two and a half inches of rain, you get into three inches right along the Blue Ridge Mountain chain, so that's going to be an interesting uh, situation that we're going to be coming across here um, tomorrow, so stay with the live weather blogs and uh, your latest and your weather radios uh, for and turn around don't drown we don't need you to get in trouble so to recap we have a potential of damaging winds isolated tornadoes and heavy rainfall along with some hail over the next 48 hours stay with liveweatherblogs.com for all your latest weather information and we'll keep you protected the best we can dean d davison storm surge llc